everyone, it's Chrissy from the Children's Museum in Easton outside of our house with my son Nicholas. And we are here today to show you a quick activity that you can do at home with your little ones. Um, you'll probably um, need to assist in this activity. It is making butter. So what we need is some heavy whipping cream and some sort of little jar or little Tupperware container. The smaller, the better. We had some leftover baby jars. Um, we put some of the heavy creamer in it and put the cover on, make sure it's on nice and tight so you don't have any spills. And you shake and shake and shake as much as you can. Um, we did a pretty good amount. We filled, this is like a large um, jar and we probably filled it about halfway. Yeah, just about. Just about halfway. It's taken us a good 10 minutes to shake all of it. Um, but when you shake, 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 you'll see the processes of um, how the the matter is forming. So it's very liquid, obviously, to start. And then the more and more you shake, the more um, it begins to solidify. And I'm going to let you see Nicholas's right now. So Nicholas's, um, can you see it? You on there, Nick? Eventually, you're going to hear um, silence, and that's almost like at a, a whipped butter stage. And then you just keep shaking through it until finally you start hearing like a swishing. Hopefully, you can hear that here. And then once it swishes like that, take the cover off, and you'll find you'll be happy to find. Can you get the cover off? Our hands are all buttery right now. There's a thing right there to open yeah. if you need it. While well, he's opening that, uh, the science behind it is basically by shaking the cream, um, the fat molecules that are inside begin to separate from the liquid. You can see it. And the more that the more that the liquid is shaken, the more that the fat molecules clump together, forming that solid, which we call our butter. So if you can't see it, you might be able to see there's actually liquid in there. You'd have to turn your camera. I'm terrible with the camera, sorry. But what we can do, we shook, 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 and we can take it over here and let's see. Nick, can you put some butter on your bread? Let's see. You can actually see the butter that Nick made go on the bread, which is pretty cool. It takes a good amount of shaking, so that's where the adult help um, definitely will be needed. Little ones get their arm, um, arms tired. I know that Nick and I were tired. Um, but yeah, so it's um, a nice uh, cause and effect kind of activity. Um, again, science, you can show the different states of matter. If you have older children, you can have them explore about the molecules, the fat molecules. That's why we use heavy butter. Um, and it tastes pretty good. You taste, take a bite of the bread. Nick will be our taster. How is it? It's good. Thumbs up. All right. So try this one. Um, let us know how your delicious butter and, um, and toast or whatever you're going to use it with um, tastes. And maybe take a picture and send it to us so we can post it on our Facebook page. So we will be back at it tomorrow. Hopefully you have a good day and we will see you again. Stay well. Bye.